Hi all, um, we're out here today in the beautiful Wentwood Forest. Um, I'm very lucky to live in such a lovely place. Um, today we're going to be carrying out a forest school activity um, and we're going to be making mud faces on trees. Now obviously my mitts are going to get a bit stinking and it's very important that you've got suitable footwear. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the things which we could do with the mud faces on the trees which will hopefully inspire children to carry out forest school sessions at Lisbane and Lanishan Reservoir. This is a prime example of one of the things which the children could use to make their mud faces. Uh, it could act as a nose, could act as a little quiff. Uh, we'll give it a little go shortly. And this is what I mean by suitable footwear. It has to be appropriate for the conditions. Obviously, we're coming towards the end of winter now. Um, it's very, very muddy. I made a bad choice of buying beige walking shoes. Um, but you know, that's all part of the fun. Get so I've picked my tree to make my mud face on. Um, I've come across a wonderfully boggy patch of mud which I'm sure would appeal to the children um, so yeah I'm gonna get into it I'll do a quick time lapse of my build just love to show you around an amazing place so yeah I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of my build of a mud face and um, so let's get into it So here we have it, one finished mud face. And the great thing about this is that when the rain comes down from the canopy and washes the face away, all the materials will be left back there. And it's another opportunity for another child to come along and have another go at the activity. So making that mud face there, it took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes tops to make. Um, it's a really good way, I think, of also encouraging children to think about their natural environment. Putting a face on a tree sort of brings it to life. Children are going to look at that and go, that's my tree. It's got a face on it. So the tree is alive, essentially. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really great activity to carry it with children of all ages. I think it'd be most suited to children in foundation phase, potentially, as they're normally the ones who benefit the most um, from forest school activities. I just want to mention... One other thing before I leave you, um, I've been coming at Wentwood pretty much all my life. Um, and before the last lockdown, I was coming up here with friends walking. Now, they're not as into nature as I am, but we stopped at one point and you can see all the way sort of to the Brecon Beacons, which is 50 odd miles away from me. And one of our friends stopped and he just said, I feel so alive in nature and I thought it was really, really poignant. And, you know, I think that's the reason why a lot of people enjoy spending time in nature, even if you're on your own. It just sort of gives you perspective on life. It gives you time to think. And you're obviously in beautiful natural surroundings. So thanks once again for watching. Um, hopefully you can take inspiration from that and maybe incorporate something like that into your own forest school sessions in the future. Goodbye.